Your girl is afraid to get old. Really, I'm afraid to get wrinkly. I'm falling for you. You're stuck in my mind. Just all the time. I'm falling for you. So, we got some new skincare to try out. So, let's just get right into it because we already know Marissa loves to voice her opinion on things. So this brand right here is Metaphort, Metaphorit, um, kind of whatever way you want to pronounce it. But this is a Korean skincare brand that wanted to send me some skincare to try out and give my honest opinion on it. I do want to thank Metaphorit for sponsoring today's video. As always, I'm voicing my 100% true, honest opinion on the products that they sent me. You guys already know, like I said, I love sharing my own opinion on products. I'm known for product reviews because I like to share my opinion on the products to let you guys know if it's good or not and if it's working for me or not. So they sent me this whole line. This is the 12 p.m. line. They have other lines. Today we're gonna be talking about the 12 p.m. So the reason why the line is called 12 p.m. is because Metaphor it based this line off of Fitticides. I think that's how it's pronounced. I will put it up on the screen, but it's a, it's a chemical that's released from plants and like trees in the forest and basically 12 p.m. is the time of day where it's released the most and it's a very helpful type of chemical I will put information on the screen because I always love to inform you guys and give you as much information as I can but I am not a scientist and I am not a dermatologist and I don't make skincare so this is all based off my own research so like I said it's called 12 p.m. because 12 p.m. is the time of day where the forest releases the most of this fitticides I again do not know how to pronounce that um, but I did look into it and did a lot of research about, um, Fitticide. So it really is interesting. Basically, I want to go spend more time in the forest now from reading all of this stuff, but there's a lot of benefits from, um, intaking this type of chemical that, that the trees and plants produce. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna kick it off and start talking about each product. I did get to try all these for about maybe a week, five days. I didn't use all the products that long, so I can always do an updated video for you guys if you want to know how things kind of worked out with my skin. I am acne prone, sensitive, combination skin type. I have a lot going on. Um, so yeah, I can always give you guys a update on how the products work for me. This is more of a review slash first impressions. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it and start talking about all the products. And just before getting into it, I did want to mention that Metaphort is a Korean skincare brand, which Korean skincare is just, I haven't met a brand that missed. Korean skincare is just really good. And they also are very affordable. You can shop them from the website or even Amazon and like I said, just very affordable pricing. So I'll leave all that information on the screen for you guys as we go through each product. All right, so let's talk about the first product and the first product is the gel cleanser. And this is the 12 p.m. gel cleanser. So this is a very neutral, mild cleanser. So on the website for the cleanser, it talks about how it's low pH, is very gentle, and it talks about how it's a cleanser, but it also moisturizes at the same time. It doesn't leave your skin dry or stripped, which I really do think that's true. I've been using this for a couple days now, and every time I use it, my skin feels moisturized, but clean at the same time. I definitely can tell my skin's been cleaned. It foams up because it starts off as a gel, but once you get water in it, it starts foaming up. And I love foam cleansers. I personally just don't feel like if it doesn't foam, it's not clean to my skin. That's just my personal opinion. I... <laughs> So yeah, I love foam like gel cleansers. So I definitely feel like it's cleaning the skin. I use it to remove my makeup, all of that. Um, like I said, it is a very light, gentle, low pH cleanser. So it shouldn't irritate your skin at all. The only thing with this is I really do love it. But I just, to me, it wouldn't be enough to keep my acne at bay. There's just not enough ingredients in here to be acne fighting ingredients. But I still love this. I will still be using this like in the mornings or if I am just going to take my makeup off and then I'll go in and double cleanse with a cleanser for my acne. Um, it's still a really good cleanser. And I'm still going to keep using it. So if you're looking for just a low pH, simple, gentle cleanser, I think this would definitely work um, for you guys, especially if you're looking for one that's going to moisturize. I think the moisturizing part of this is like what makes it different than all the other simple low pH cleansers. I think this actually really moisturizes the skin after using it. I always feel that it's very moisturized and I'm definitely gonna be using this in the winter. Like I feel like my skin's definitely gonna need it more in the winter. Okay, so the next product we're gonna talk about is the 12 p.m. Calming Toner. Um, on the website, it says that it, it contains cypress leaf extract. The cleanser did too. So again, I'll leave like the ingredient list and the main key ingredients up on the screen for you guys. And it's unscented, which is really true. Like 
I think all the products claim they're unscented and they actually are. I don't smell anything. They have like no scent. So they definitely are unscented. I do see here on the website for the toner it says keep out of direct sunlight. So if you're going to be using the toner in the daytime like I am, I'm usually doing that while I'm staying home. Like I get home, do it, and then I stay in the house. I don't know when we go back out. Um, so yeah, if you are going into sunlight, wear sunscreen. Don't be putting the toner on and going into direct sunlight. Um, so when I've been using this toner and what I've been noticing is that it's super lightweight, which I really love I feel like this whole line is very lightweight. It's not heavy products on your face um, But I really like using this toner after I get off work because I normally get off work in like the middle of the day But I don't want to wash my face with like face wash yet because I'm gonna wash my face later on at night before I go to bed and wash my face too much will just dry me out so I like to use this toner as a midday like face clean um, kind of just give my face a wipe down whether I'm at work or if I was out doing errands and I come home um, I also do use it at night when I was testing this product I was using it at night after I did my face routine and then I was going to bed But I just really like using it in the middle of the day too because it is super lightweight It does not feel greasy. It doesn't make your face feel sticky You don't feel like anything's on your face once you wipe all of your face and let it dry There's it doesn't feel like anything. It feels like my face has just been cleaned and it's been refreshed um, and then I don't even have to go over my face with a moisturizer sometimes toners you have to moisturize after because the toner itself is so stripping This is a very lightweight moisturizing type of toner that I don't have to use a like moisturizer after using this toner In the middle of the day at the end of the night when I'm going to bed I will always put a moisturizer on but if I'm just using the toner in the middle of the day just to clean my face off I can just wipe my face off and go about my day and I don't have to put a lotion or a moisturizer back over it um, because it's very moisturizing. It doesn't strip my skin at all. So the next product we're going to talk about is going to be serums. Um, normally you would only use one in your routine, but they sent me three. So I'm going to talk about all three right now. So we're going to start with the 12 p.m. Calming Serum. This is actually very similar to the Calming Toner. The same key ingredients. Um, I will leave the full ingredients list up on the screen. Like I'm going to do with every product, so I need to just stop saying that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's the same key ingredients um, claims to do the same thing. It's calming You're having like irritation of the skin. You definitely could use it because there's three um, Serums and I was only using this for about five to six days so far I haven't got to use them that long for each one. So we're gonna briefly talk about them. They all have the same consistency where it's kind of like thin but gooey or the lightweight slimy gooey ish but they rub into the skin so well like they feel really soft like the calming one especially that it just feels like very relaxing and calming of the skin um so yeah i really do like the calming one so the one i've been using the most out of the three is the anti-blemish serum and it kind of speaks for itself on why i've been using it the most because i'm acne prone so right when i seen an anti-blemish i'm like oh i gotta try that so i think that this is a like a drastic um anti-blemish serum where it's gonna just just zap all your little zits away i think it's gonna take time and i feel like this definitely could be a great preventive agent so you can use it to prevent breakouts you know um but yeah, so that's the anti-blemish. So the last serum we have here is the 12 p.m. Brightening Serum, and this has niacinamide in it. Um, that's one of the key ingredients that they mentioned on the packaging. Um, and it does say glowing and brightening effects. So it's a brightening serum. It's advertising to brighten and give you a nice glow. Again, I haven't been using it that long to actually say, but I will say that I'm not having irritation. It's very gentle, very like, my skin doesn't, when I put the serums on, I don't feel anything. There's no tingling, no burning, nothing. Hey love, so I lost some of the footage for the 12 p.m. recovery cream, so I'm just going to quickly touch on it. It's a very lightweight, there's no smell at all type of moisturizer. It does have more of a dewy finish, it doesn't mattify, but it's very lightweight. My skin had no irritation to it. And for the last product, I kind of went with how I would use them, but then also like my fave. <laughs> so this is the 12 p.m. calming sunscreen SPF 50. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you have been on the journey with me of me entering into the world of sunscreen and learning that you really do need to be wearing sunscreen. As I got older and I realized that the sun ages you, I like stop my tanning. I do not tan as much as I normally do and I wear sunscreen as much as I can because your girl is afraid to get old. Really, I'm afraid to get wrinkly. Like I get it, aging gracefully, like it's gonna happen, but I don't wanna be mistaken for age or not. I just don't. Well, unless it's younger. Like if I'm 50 and you're like, oh my God, are you 35? Like, yes, if I'm 35 and you're asking if I'm 50, I'm gonna be a little offended. So anyways, <laughs> 
sunscreen is very important in your skincare routine and I was super excited to see that Metaphoric sent me some sunscreen to try out. Not only is it a sunscreen, it actually has key ingredients to help your skin. So for this sunscreen, it does say on the website that it's a mix of physical and chemical um, ingredients to make the sunscreen. I say it's good for sensitive skin, which I know sometimes sunscreens can irritate some people's skin, especially if you're acne prone. So for me, there's been plenty of sunscreens I could not use on my face even if they're meant for the face because my acne was not liking it. So I've been using this the most. I've been using this every day and my acne has been, I think, fine. And my favorite thing about this is that there is no white cast to this. I have yet to come across a sunscreen that has no, like absolutely no white cast. This is the first sunscreen I've came across that has absolutely no white cast. And again, I'm not a dark skin complexion. So even if it had a white cast, sometimes I don't see that much on me, which is why some of the sunscreens I've used in the past, I still continue to use because the white cast isn't that crazy on me. But my husband is a dark skin complexion. So we always test everything on him if it's meant, if we're gonna be doing like a dark skin complexion type of test. So I used it on him, no white cast at all. Like I was like, even looking at him, I was like, do you see anything? He's like, no, I don't see anything. Can I get this off of me? I'm like, fine, don't wash it off. Um, but yeah, there was no white cast at all. Some things just to note for the sunscreen is that it's not a matte consistency. Not many sunscreens are matte. You usually will have a type of, not reflection, but a shine to your face if you put sunscreen on. So this one I feel like has a higher shine, but it's nothing crazy. Like you don't look like a grease ball but it's like, there's a little bit more of a higher shine. I just think this is a really good um, sunscreen and I will continue to use this. And I most likely will purchase it and keep it stocked up in my collection of skincare because the fact that it's no white cast and SPF 50, I can recommend this to friends, they can use it. I know any one of my friends, no matter what their skin tone is, they can use it and they'll be fine. But that is it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my opinion. And maybe you guys just learned a new skincare brand to try out. Again, this is a Korean skincare brand. And like I said, Korean skincare normally always hits, so it normally never misses. And I think a lot of them are really well made. Again, super lightweight, super good for sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend trying these products out. But that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.